this anxiety swells up in me and I just panic. It's a big fear. I get real panicky. Fear that something will happen. Claustrophobia. Turbulence. You took your first flight and you must have realized that the plane could crash. That one thought though is only enough to take you to a two. But after that, over time, you find out about something happening to an airplane. You collect a file folder, disastrous things that could happen to me if I fly. When you start to fly, or even think about flying, you open that file folder and the first possibility comes to mind, it takes you to a two. The next possibility comes to mind, it takes you two more up to a four. And then the next possibility comes to mind, it takes you even farther. Well, by the time you get to the fifth thought, probably the hormones from the first thought have worn off a bit. And so instead of going to a 10, I suspect you go to only about an eight until something very remarkable happens. Neurons which fire together, wire together. And what this means is when you have thought one, a certain set of neurons fires. When you have thought two, a different set of neurons fire. And thought three, yet another set. After you think thought one, thought two, thought three, thought four, thought five, on many different occasions, at some point they become one and they fire together. And then, instead of going two, four, six, eight, you go to two, right up to a ten, right up to panic. But there is a way to keep those thoughts out of your mind and to keep them from causing anxiety. That is, you have to train your mind to do it automatically and unconsciously. Did you ever drive a stick shift? When you were first learning, you had to think consciously and deliberately where to move the shift lever, when to push the clutch pedal, and how to apply the gas. As you were consciously and deliberately doing these things, your unconscious mind was watching. After a while, your unconscious mind had learned how to do it and was doing it for you. I'm going to lead you through the training that will provide you with that kind of automatic control, only instead of learning how to shift your car automatically without thinking, we're going to control anxiety automatically without thinking. The fourth part is at the airport. We selected a group of volunteer fearful flyers and put them together with a United Airlines maintenance supervisor. We told them to ask every question that they could come up with. Here's a sample. Can you tell me something about the maintenance of the engine? We do what they call on-wing maintenance and we have a special fiber optic uh, scope and they look on the inside of the engine for defects. We take it off, send it back for major overhaul prior to its ever having any failure. My dad owns an airport and an airplane, and a friend came in and uh, left his plane overnight. A small, it was a Cessna. A mud bee made a nest. See, that's what I'm, I'm afraid about, the, the little technical little bee that got stuck in the fuel line. What the aircraft manufacturers have done today is they have produced an airplane that has a main system, an alternate system, and a backup system and an emergency system. So that if the little mud dauber bee plugs this up, all it does is turn on a light somewhere that tells the flight crew, the next time they land, tell somebody that they got this little light on. What and the airplane it? operates 100% normal. Do we have a backup system for sure. the light? Sure, sure, absolutely. It automatically switches to its second system and operates perfectly fine. I'll take you into the cockpit of a 747. I'll teach you how to make a takeoff. I'll teach you how to put the plane on autopilot, how to make an automatic landing. We take a flight together with scenes both from the cabin and in the cockpit. I cannot tell you what a, what a feeling is to stand in Washington, D.C. and feel great. I feel like a whole new world, well, an old world has come back to me, I should say. You know, I can, I can start considering you know on my vacation going to Europe going anywhere that I can afford a feeling of wonderful accomplishment I really didn't see how it would connect but it did there's something about it that just clicked 
being both an airline captain and a licensed therapist and having worked successfully with over 5,000 people for 25 years, most of whom thought nothing would work, I have good reason to believe that what I've learned through all this can help you too. Even if your flight is tomorrow, what you do now can make a huge difference in how you feel.